Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back. I'm going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, followed by a deep squat as a part of my dynamic stretching routine. I hope you are also incorporating the same in your workouts, making sure you're getting your part of at least five minutes of dynamic stretching before starting your workouts. It's important that we prove uh, we always start our workouts with a dynamic stretch to make sure we go through the mobility checks and also can attend to any kind of restrictions which we have which might hinder us while doing our weightlifting sessions. Now you may also choose to add a 5 minute cardio, any type of cardio which you wish to, to get your heart beat up but otherwise it's fine. Cardio post-workout is more advisable than before pre-workout. Make sure you sit in a deep squat at least for a few seconds, even if possible for a minute or two to ensure good hip mobility. Now let's begin with our exercises. For the first exercise, I'm going to do the lat pullovers. Again, nothing new. The same old lat pullovers for four sets and 20 repetitions with 45 to 60 seconds break in between. Simply set up a bench in front of a cable machine and then with elbows locked, not completely straight, not required, slightly bent and locked on an inclined bench laying down, you start pulling the cable down. And here you can see slow and steady motion, full range of motion, let your lats completely extend back. And then from there, using your lats consciously, pull the weight down without using your triceps. That's where your elbow shouldn't get extended. So you want to keep them in a locked position. A great way to start our exercise extremely demanding also focuses absolutely on the primary motion of our lats stopping our hands from going completely back or at least giving that stretch you can clearly see how my lat get extended under my under my armpits as the cable pulls me behind post completing this part of the exercise we move on to cable rows now again my gym does not have a seated cable row setup so I always put myself on a bench with a stepper box under it to give me a little bit of elevation to get the proper amount of stretch. I always prefer to go all the way down use spinal flexion to get myself into as much stretch position as possible. Preferable to always get as much stretch as possible if not you can also let your shoulders roll forward to get the maximum amount of stretch and from there using your lats you pull the weight back close to you. Here I'm using a closer grip. It's not absolutely necessary, but wise to use a closer grip to get a little bit more thickness in the back. Otherwise, a wider grip is also absolutely fine. The difference in terms of muscle growth is not, I would say, unless until you are a, someone who is in competing in terms of bodybuilding, it's not particularly necessary. The wide, close, medium grip wouldn't make much difference as long as the form, the stretch, is absolutely fine yes you might also add a uh, few grips suit few people better in terms of less forearm activation less bicep activation more of back activation so yes choose your grip accordingly post completing that exercise for 20 reps three sets i moved on to face pulls again one of the staple exercises easy to do easy to perform done properly can give you a lot of posterior strength and shape development four sets of these 20 repetitions these are the kind of exercises where you don't want to lift heavy you want to get larger volume of repetitions in a controlled manner because lifting heavy you will fail in the uh, form very quickly and you won't be able to accumulate as many repetitions so slow steady controlled repetitions high number of repetitions with just enough challenging weight is advisable and remember when you're doing face pulls also we want to go through the full range of motion so you let the weight go completely forward roll your shoulders forward and from there you push back leading your with your wrist you open up your chest as high as possible squeezing your back upper back mainly as strongly as possible to get the maximum benefits of the face pull the cable has to be set up just in front of your face height so setting it up any higher or lower will put you in an awkward position just set it up just in front of your face at your nose level and from there you can start pulling. Post completing that we move on to our last bit of exercises which is basically pull-ups, vertical pulls, three sets, as many repetitions as possible 
in a controlled manner. If you are able to add weight, if you are not able to do any pull-ups, use resistance band or a pull-up assisted machine, uh, assisted pull-up machine to do your pull-ups, but try to get as many pull-ups as possible. You can always put a band under your legs to help you in terms of pulling yourself together up. I chose to go with the wider group because till now we have been going with medium or a closer grip. So wide grip, quite helpful. Yes, I need also to improve my pull-up game a lot more. I would need a lot more core locking and stability. But yes, we all are learning and from not able to do any pull-ups re until recently to able to achieve at least 8 to 10 pull-ups end of a workout, I think that's a good amount of development. Here, when I was not able to do any more wide grip pull-ups, I also switched to a neutral grip pull-up, which you can do too if you feel the neutral grip is more stronger for you. And that's it. We are done for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. You can just continue doing a vertical hang in terms of finishing your static stretching. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Have a great workout. Thank you.